What's going on? Jerome's uh, first day of, well, not, not even first day, like first half day uh, of legal tampering is nearly in the books. And, of course, free agency does dictate uh, what's going to happen uh, with the draft. And we're going to fire up a seven-round mock draft. But just recapping as of right Meow, uh, 7.26 p.m. Central Time, which is the only time zone that matters. Uh, so Kirko signed with the Falcons. <laughs> the contract is muy grande. Mm. Uh, Daniel, well, Daniel Wanham are probably gone, uh, considering that the, the Vikings signed Jonathan Grenard and Andrew Van Gr- uh, Grickle. Uh, that, that, I spelled it wrong again. Ginkle. Whatever. Uh, then, uh, Marcus Davenport just signed with the Lions for whatever. Uh, Jordan Hicks probably gone with the signing of Blake Cashman. So, uh, Jonathan Grenard, Andrew Van Ginkle, nailed it, uh, stupid badger, uh, as well as Blake Cashman uh, Cashman outside. How about that? Uh, he is in the building. So, now, we're going to fire up a seven-round Vikings mock draft. And, of course, uh, you know, th- there's going to be some other moves here. I mean, the Vikings uh, probably will sign a running back at some point. They'll probably sign a defensive lineman, uh, probably sign an offensive lineman, and probably a bridge quarterback uh, to work with Mullins as well as Jaron Hall and also uh, you know, work with the quarterback TBD. So now the impetus on the Vikings. So a lot of people are criticizing, like, well, with Kirk gone, it's going to cost more for the Vikings to move up because uh, the, the, the people know that the Vikings need a quarterback. Not really. Because if you think about it, even though the Vikings brought back Kirk on a one-year deal, and then all of a sudden, hey, uh, hey, man, hey, Washington, hey, hey, New England, hey, Chargers, hey, uh, what you doing? The Vikings aren't moving up for a cornerback. I mean, they're not moving up for a safety or something like that. So, obviously, they're coming up for a quarterback. So, leverage doesn't really change. I mean, the cost is going to be the cost, and it's going to be steep, and it is what it is. All right, so a couple picks bleed off the board. Uh, Caleb Williams won. Dallas Turner at two? Probably not. Probably not, but uh, let's get a little bit spicy. So, New England, where are you at? New England, confirmed, confirmed. All right, so three, even though they traded Mac Jones, uh, maybe they're not enamored with the quarterbacks up the top. Uh, Maybe they feel fine with riding with Jabroni Brisket for a hot second. Uh, Also, I mean, they certainly could uh, swing around at the top of the second round and get a quarterback like Penix or Bo Nix. So, we're going to make a move. All right, so first, 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 first. Uh, so it's probably going to cost three ones. So just imagine that is three ones, uh, 11 first and, and a second. Actually, we'll front load this thing because why not? Uh, again, this is not one, two, three. This is 11, 2025 20, first, and 2026 20, first. I'm just making sure uh, they say, yeesh. <laughs> we got rejected. Please, 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 please. Uh, if first you don't succeed, you can dust it off and try again. A- actually, let's just make this work. I, I feel like... I, again, obviously, it's not the full draft class. Don't care. We're going to make it. Mama, we made it. So, again, this was not the entire draft class for 2025. This was three first-round picks. So, now, I know that Drake May is there. I know that Jaden Daniels is there. I know that J.J. McCarthy Dynamite is there. But there's only one. And for me, Caleb Williams certainly has the upside. I know that there has been a concerted effort to try and discredit Drake May as of late. But I think Drake May is the best quarterback in this class. And I understand he took a step back last year with uh, you know, losing some of his skill position guys. Same with the Caleb Williams at USC last year. No one talks about that. Williams loses Addison. All of a sudden, he ain't winning no Heisman Trophy. Uh, so, Drake, I mean, Drake May, he's got great mobility. He's got great size. got great arm. He unleashes piss missiles. And he's got cones in high leverage spots. Yeah, he'll make mistakes. Yeah, he'll try and force it sometimes. But I, I think that especially reuniting him with Josh McCown, who's his high school coach, uh, and working with Kevin O'Connell, I think that Drake May has a chance to be a superstar in this league. So we're taking Drake May. Uh, oh, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, resume draft. Mm. Uh, no, we, we are rejecting all offers. We're drafting Drake May. Woo-woo! I feel good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I knew that I would. So uh, Vikings got their QB of the future. All right, so we got a couple trade offers. Jets offering a fourth rounder. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> uh, uh, nah, 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 nah. We're, we're just going to stick and pick here. So now, uh, reject, reject. Do we want to get spicy? Because, I mean, Lab McConkie is just there chilling. Man. Could you imagine three deep reborn with, with J.J. Addison and Lad McConkie? That would be sick. Zach Frazier is there chilling. Uh, Ruka is there as well. All right, let's look specifically. All right, so yeah, the Vikings definitely racked up and stacked up along the uh, along the middle of the defense uh, at that second level linebacker. Um, 
I, I mean, McConkie would be so fun. But do we have to be pragmatic? Like, do we have to be adults here? Uh, Cooper BBBB accessories. Zach Frazier is still there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think this is a spot where we, we got to go with our gut. We got to get our guy. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I love me some Chris Jenkins. Uh, I, I think that he can be a clone of Christian Wilkins, who, by the way, just got the second most guaranteed money in NFL history. Uh, but Jenkins, uh, great against the run, a quick twitch, uh, also has some size, uh, uh, developing as a pass rusher. So I, I like Chris Jenkins in this spot. So you got Drake May, you got uh, Chris Jenkins a second. Feeling good. Nah, 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 nah. I knew that I would now. All right, so now going all the way down. All right, so pick 108 is up. Uh, the let's see the Saints are offering us like four picks. I mean, do we do it? Sure, why not? Let's get nuts. Let's get nuts. I mean, drafts are supposed to be fun. Hmm. Um, oh, we got a trade offer. There we go. Uh, so moving back and picking up another one. Ah, nah, nah, nah. All right, so we're on the board now. So we got one twenty nine. Uh, 150, 157, 167, 168, 170. Uh, so there's a couple things here. Uh, Tanner Bortolini is on the board. Uh, Dwayne Cata, Mr. Carter is there. Uh, Cam Hart is there too. I kind of want to make it happen with a couple of these guys. So uh, do, do we do our, our famous thing where we just try to uh, – who's up next? Uh, 20, uh, 130. So the Ravens and the Niners – all right, so Baltimore. Let's see what we want. 130. How far back can we go? Ah, there we go. Reject. All right, one more time. Baltimore. We want some Baltimore-ish. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. All right, so in the Niners, they see us rolling. They hate him. Uh, all right, so. Wait. Crap. I screwed up there. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely effed up there, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, let's see here. I mean, usually, usually they warn you when you're going to do something really stupid. But I guess not this time. Hmm. Uh, all right, so draft results, uh, Chiefs. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Don't care. Uh, all right, so 157, 177. Oh, oh, oh. Brett Veach. Stop being such a Veach. All right, make it happen, Captain. There we go. All right, so we're going to take Dwayne Carter. We're doubling down in that defensive line. Dwayne Carter, quick penetration, heart and hustle. I, I think him and Jenkins, they're going to eat. Even though, yes, we do need to find ourselves a, a true blue nose tackle. Maybe we'll resign Kyrus Tonga. Who knows? Cam Hart, a length on the outside, a standout at the senior bowl. I uh, absolutely love adding him to the secondary. Uh, and then also Tanner Bortolini. Mm. I also kind of want Brendan Rice. Also, Brendan Rice reuniting him with Jordan Addison. All right, so Javon Baker's there chilling. Taz Washington, I love. Um Who's up next after us? Oh, the Niners again. Um, Baltimore, I'm still mad at you for ripping me off, man. All right, so we are going to package 177 and 188 screw for 133. And hence. Oh, they just said no. Yeah, whatever. Uh, all right, so uh, we are going to take... Uh, we are going to take uh, Tanner Bortolini in, in this spot. Tessa great at the combine is scheme agnostic, can play center, can play guard. Uh, even though he is a stupid badger, you know, adding him to the mix along the offensive line uh, makes a ton of sense. Now we're back up again. I believe 177. Christian Boyd, the nose tackle. Let's go. Let's go. Doubling and tripling down on this mother father along the defensive line. Let's. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, also, here, here's what's weird. So, yes, uh, first half day of legal tampering. Vikings got three linebackers, essentially, and people's, were, people were so mad. It's like, what about running backs? I mean, come on, bro. There's literally like 10 days of free uh, – 10 weeks of free agency and then also the draft coming up. So, chill out. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, Guarendo. Ah, I feel like we're upsetting the balance of the universe, though, because Guarendo at Louisville one year, he was, he was uh, teammates with Tanner Bortolini with, at Wisconsin. So, uh, I mean, with uh, Andrew Van, Van uh, Grickle coming aboard, do we have too many stupid Badgers? I think we might. I think we might. Uh, but I mean, but he's really good. All right, so you got a power back who can move. Also catch the football a little bit. Not bad. It's not bad. All right, so we're up again at 190. Uh, what do we need? Do we just take a shot in the dark on uh, Joe Milton? Sure. Uh, Dylan Hulker. Let's yeah, forward. Mm. Omar Spates is a guy we love. Drake Nugent. I mean, how, do we just double down? Offensively, oh, Jaquan's there. Anaya Smith we could get a little bit later on, it looks like. Yeah. Defensively. Do we just pick up an edge prospect? Or, actually, no. Do we pick up a tackle prospect? Nathan Thomas is just there chilling. Supersized. Yeah, I love it. Uh, we'll, we'll get him later. All right, all. And in the spot. Actually, you know what? Screw it. You really can't have enough uh, decent offensive linemen. Uh, so we are going to go with, where'd he go? Oh, yeah, Drake Nugent. There you go. All right, so, yes, I, I understand that we got two centers. One of them will overtake Bradbury, and then one of them will play guard. That's it. That's all. That's all. All right, so lastly, offensive line. Oh, Crum is, uh, yeah, whatever. All right, so tackle prospect. Um yeah, we'll take Crum. There you go. Coming out of Wyoming. So overall, I feel good. Again, again, mistakes we made a few, but then again, too, too few to mention. Now, nah, just kidding. We screwed up with Baltimore. But uh, here, here's a recap of what went down. So Kirko, Falcons, Daniil gone, Wanham gone, Davenport signing with the Lions, uh, Hicks probably gone, uh, Jonathan Grenard, Andrew Van uh, Ginkle, as well as uh, Blake Cashman outside. How about that? Uh, and then in the draft, trade, uh, again, we didn't trade up our full class. For next year, we trade up three ones to go get Drake May, uh, Chris Jenkins, Dwayne Carter back to back, as well as Christian Boyd. I love it. I love it. So Jenkins, uh, Carter, you know, three tacks, four tacks, uh, Christian Boyd on that nose, rushing the passer. Woo -woo. Love it. Uh, Cam Hart adding length to the outside and versatility. Uh, Tanner Bertolini, as well as uh, Drake Nugent on the inside. Big 10 representing. Uh, you have some contingency planning for if and when you get rid of Garrett Bradbury. Uh, Isaac Warendo adding some size, a little smash and dash uh, with Ty Chandler. And then Frank Crum uh, as uh, a swing utility uh, tackle uh, project for the future. So, I mean, overall, you got your guy. You got your quarterback. You built in the offensive line and D-line. Pretty damn happy with how it's turned out. But uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. You guys are the best you know what to do. Skull production value. <laughs>